People, people, settle down. Okay, now, how many of you have played musical instruments before? Do instruments of torture count? No. Is mayonnaise an instrument? No, Patrick, mayonnaise is not an instrument. Horseradish is not an instrument either. That's fine. No one has any experience. Fortunately, I have enough talent for all of you. <laughs> all of you. <laughs> when do we get the free food? Okay, try to repeat after me. <sighs> Brass section, go. Good. Now the wind. And the drums. <laughs> Too bad that didn't kill me. Yes, Billy. Two plus two still equals four. <laughs> Breaking news. The dirty bubble just wiped all the teachers' dirty looks right off their faces. Who will be next? <laughs> no more pencils, no more books, no more news guys, dirty looks. <laughs> 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 I'm ready to drive! Are you ready for my driving test today, Mrs. Puff? Okay, Mrs. Puff. If SpongeBob fails this test, you will be replaced. Okay, SpongeBob. Let's demonstrate for Mr. Fitz everything I've taught you in boating school. <laughs> now, what's the first thing we do before we start boating? Oh, seat belt a Rooney. One second. <laughs> Then what do you do? Start the engine? Yes. What do I do now? Drive the boat! Did I pass this time, Mrs. Puff? No, SpongeBob. You failed. I was just working out and I was wondering, is this normal? Ah! Even your cramps have cramps. You need to follow my number one rule. Always be hydrating. Flying? <laughs> Gee, Larry, you think I'll ever be as strong as you? Sure. What kind of a gym owner would I be if I couldn't take a puny, squishy lump like you? Ah, squishy. What I'm saying is, I can make you a man. Hooray! I'm gonna make you my personal project. Of course, you'll have to sign up for a lifetime membership. I'm ready! That reminds me, you need to start hydrating right now. Uh, 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 yes, sir. And remember, always be hydrating. Okay, I will. That's what I like to see. Come on, we'll finish those later. Good, because I was really crashing there signing those papers. Feeling the burn, is that what you call it? I heard angels singing. Beautiful angels, that's normal, right? It's Larry, king of the gym! Yeah! <laughs> oh, you guys. I'm just an ordinary alpha lobster doing his job. Okay, that's perfect, everybody. Bubble bowl, here we come. Flag twirlers really spin those things. Okay, turn. Flag twirlers, let's go. I want to see some spinning. Flag twirlers, let's move. Come on, move! Got Mrs. Puff fired. Ah! Hello, worthless students. I'm your new instructor. No one's ever failed my class that's lived through it. I can assure you these next four weeks will be the worst years of your miserable lives. Your spines will break, your teeth will ache, your eyes will be bloodshot. <laughs> you will drive out of this school in style, or you will be carted out in your granny's handbasket. Everyone will follow the rules of the class. First rule, no talking. Does that mean... Second rule, no eating in my class. 
Would anyone care for a bonbon? Uh, I'll eat one. <gasps> Pick your favorite. How's it taste? It's a delightful taste sensation. No eating in my classroom. Go sit over there and let an old pro show you how to do it. Pay close attention, Patrick. Well, you start by taking one lace per hand, and then you, uh, you gotta loop the, the, the... Are you sure you know how to do it? Patrick, please, shoe tying requires peace and quiet. Okay, where was I? Your shoes are still untied. Well, I guess you don't want me to show you how to do it. I'm sorry, I won't interrupt anymore. I've got it. The first rule of shoe tying is always start with your right foot. Now the lesson will officially begin. That's not right. Ah, get it? Not right. No. Okay, no more fooling around. I got it! What was that? Are you okay, SpongeBob? Patrick, aren't you late for something? The oh, poop deck, you're right! We'll have to do this lesson later! Bye, SpongeBob! <clears throat> Good evening, students. Now, our first... Good evening, Professor! As I was saying, our first... Yes? Aren't you gonna write your name on the board like most professors do? My, my name? What for? Well, you know, it just seems like teachers usually write their names on the board the first day of class. <sighs> Why don't you come write your name on the board? We'll see how you like it. <sighs> okay. There. Now how does that feel, Billy? Okay, I, I guess. Good. Now, why don't you take your seat and stop poking your nose into other people's business? Oh, if only I knew how to work this thing. Well, let me take a look at it. Hmm. <laughs> you know what the problem is? What? You got it set to M for mini, when it should be set to W for Wumbo. Patrick, I don't think Wumbo is a real word. Come on, you know, I wumbo, you wumbo, he, she, me, wumbo, wumbo, wumboing. I wonder we'll if a fall from this wumbo, height would be enough wumbo, to kill me. Wombology? The study of wumbo? It's first grade, SpongeBob. Patrick, I'm sorry I doubted you. Well, all right then, let her rip. <laughs> Bob's giant! Can I be giant next? Let's just try stepping in rhythm. Now I want everyone to stand in straight rows of five. Is this the part where we start kicking? No, SpongeBob, that's a chorus line. Kicking? Oh, I want to do some kicking! Why <laughs> you? Whoever's the owner of the white sedan, you left your lights on. Come one, come all, to Bikini Bottom University, a free education for all. There's no more excuse for being a dope. Step right up, all you morons. Classes are now beginning. This isn't working. Try jiggling the keys. <laughs> Good morning, students. <laughs> A whole school full of Patricks. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us. Wow. 
one semester later. And don't forget your last homework assignment. Looks like we were able to educate the whole town in one semester. Yep, day after tomorrow is graduation. <laughs> you know, Mr. Krabs, at boating school, Mrs. Wipe pa that boating school malarkey out of your mind, son. It's all a racket. <gasps> it is? And that goes for every kind of schooling. Why, there ain't nothing truly important. You can't learn on the streets with half a jigger of common sense and your own two claws. Now put her in gear! Okay! <laughs> well, rookie mistake, boy. Happens all the time. It does? No, but you got the right fire in your belly. I do? Yes. <laughs> Gary! Huh? Excuse me, sir. Have you seen... <gasps> SpongeBob? Gary? How dare you invade the sanctity of my dreams? Gary, you can talk! <sighs> In dreams, one is not tethered by earthly limitations. What does that mean? Come. For ages, dreams have been thought of as windows to another realm. Let me not mar that perfect dream by an oral stain, but so adjust my daily night that it may come again. Emily Dickinson wrote that. Who? Here's one you might know. <clears throat> There once was a man from Peru who dreamed he was eating his shoe. He awoke with a fright in the middle of the night to find that his dream had come true. Ah, gee, Gary, you sure are smart. Did you think my shell was full of hot air? Well, thanks for the info, Gary. I'm going back to my own dream now. Beware of your wandering eye, you little peripheral. Ah, uh, how I have dreamed of this day. Mr. Tentacles, Professor of Art. What a marvelous opportunity for the people of Bikini Bottom. Bring me your huddled masses of bored housewives, and I will shape them in my image. I'll go down in history. Someday, there will be a wing with my name on it in all the museums of the world! Dude, you're teaching art at the rec center. Calm down. Uncultured trash urchin. 9 a.m., time to let the class in. Well, don't want to keep them waiting any longer. I'm so excited about Welcome this. to art class. Oh, isn't this cooking? Sorry. Oh, never mind. Body Squidward! Are you taking this art class too? SpongeBob, in art class. Wait! This is cooking! Come back! You gotta be kidding. Bob! This is great! You and me in school together. So, where's the teacher? You're looking at him. You are the teacher to my pupil? This is an art class. It's heaven. Do you want to learn how to drive or what? Yes, sir! I'm ready to drive! What do you think you're doing? Ready for my test, sir. You're not ready to drive yet until you learn that first. This is the most grueling driving course ever devised. You will learn every turn, bump, and crack on it. You'll start out crawling it. Crawl? Hup two, hup two, hup two, hup two. Left turn! Crack! Bump! Nickel! Hey, a nickel! Keep your eyes on the road, cadet! Oh. Ashamed of you, cadet. Tripped up by a wee pebble. What are you supposed to be learning in my class? How to drive, sir. Affirmative. But before you learn to drive, you must learn to crawl. And then you learn to walk. And then you learn to run. But before you learn to walk, you must learn to crawl. I want you to crawl. Sir, yes, sir. Now get out there. Huh. Huh. 
How's that harmonica solo coming, Plankton? It's tremendous. You want to see? <laughs> is remember my wilderness training so I don't get lost. First rule of wilderness training is map out your course by taking note of local landmarks. Local landmarks. Aha! Right at this large and unusual shell. Right at this abandoned sofa. And job left at the broken fire hydrant. Parking lot is just the ticket. Like every young person, the novice bowler needs plenty of open, obstacle-free space and the freedom to make mistakes. Mr. Krabs, you're so wise. <laughs> Can't disagree with you there. All right, put her in gear. <laughs> hmm. Rookie mistake, right? I suppose so. Now slowly, inch forward and we'll check out the damage. Inch, 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 inch. Ah! Oh, broken wall. That's about 15,000. Oh, kitchen fire. Oh, that'll be about six grand. Oh, lawsuit. Oh, that's a lot of zeros. Oh. Well, this is our last night together before the show, and I know that you haven't improved since we began. <laughs> but I have a theory. People talk loud when they want to act smart, right? Correct! So if we play loud, people might think we're good. Everybody ready? And the one, and the two, and the one, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, new theory. Maybe we should play so quietly no one can hear us. Well, maybe we wouldn't sound so bad if some people didn't try to play with big, meaty claws. What did you say, punk? <laughs> big, meaty claws! Well, these claws ain't for just attracting mates. Bring it on, old man! Bring it on! No, people. Let's be smart and bring it off. Oh, so now the talking cheese is gonna preach to us. Wait, wait! I know tensions are high. Take that! There's a deposit on that equipment, people! Class is over. Okay. Uh, okay. See you tomorrow. Good. Yeah. 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 So what are you doing yeah. tomorrow? Well, you did it. You took my one chance at happiness and crushed it. Crushed it into little tiny bite-sized pieces. I really had expected better of you people. I guess I'm a loser for that too. Don't bother showing up tomorrow. I'll just tell them you all died in a marching accident. So thanks. Thanks for nothing. You're welcome. Let me see. I may have something that'll work for you. Here we go. Cotton swabs. Cotton balls. Here, try this on for size, Hercules. <laughs> What am I doing? Pathetic. Look, Larry, I'm hydrating. Oh, I am hydrating so much. Yeah, I've got another idea, SpongeBob. Come with me. 
First thing tomorrow morning, this is gonna be where I lead my exercise class. I'll be there. That's the spirit. And we're going to get you started early. Let me see some crunches. The only thing I want to see in your mouth is that water bottle. Now, what did I tell you? Always be hydrating. Now, I'll show you some crunches. Go, 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 go. Oh, I can do that. That's what I do when I laugh. Bop, 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 bop. Only now I'll do it on my back. Bop, 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 bop. Could you do it without the laugh? I won't lie to you, Larry. Probably not. Whatever works, I guess. Keep up with that, and most importantly... Always be hydrating. Bow, 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 okay. Bow, bow. Doesn't anybody know how to tie a knot? <laughs> did somebody say not? I did. So, you want to tie knots, do ya? Well, do ya? Yes, please, Mr. Flying Dutchman, sir. Then you've come to the right flying ghost, kid. You're looking at the first place winner in the fancy nothing contest for the last 3,000 years! Hooray! You're gonna have to not do that. And stop staring at me with them big old eyes. <laughs> now stand back and watch me be naughty. <laughs> Ha-ha! <laughs> Behold! The pretzel knot! Ooh. The double diamond knot! The square knot! The constrictor! <laughs> the gut knot! The pillow knot! <laughs> the butterfly knot! Ooh. Wait, there's more! The monkey chain! The monkey's fist! The monkey! <laughs> this one here is a loop knot, otherwise known as the poop loop. Poop! Ah, those are great, Mr. Flying Dutchman, sir. Hi, Mrs. Puff. Today is the day I'm gonna pass my boating exam. We'll see about that, SpongeBob. First, we must... First, I must pass the oral exam. I am confident in my abilities to successfully succeed. I know. Okay, number one. What is the front of the boat? The bow. What is the back? Stern. Number three. Right is... Starboard. Port, skipper, deck, cabin, galley, keel, 1924. You've passed the oral test. What a surprise. Now it's time to, once again, take the driving portion of the exam. Okay, SpongeBob. Get in the boat. Oh, wait, in this boat? Right here? Is it time already? Get in the boat, SpongeBob! Oh, yeah, absolutely. All you have to do is get on the track. Okay, SpongeBob, what's the first thing you do? 1924? No, no. First thing is to start the boat. <laughs> SpongeBob! SpongeBob, relax. It's only the boat. The boat? Okay. Now, what do you do next? Floor it? Yes. No! No! Don't floor it! Floor it? No! No, no! Don't floor it! Okay, floor it! No! 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 Oh, SpongeBob! Why? Hmm. What if you just showed me how you make one? No flaff of. Whoa! Gee, Rusty, quite a setup you got here. But where's all the sandwich bread, the condiments, the gold cuts? I don't play this. A rye sandwich carved entirely of driftwood? Mamma mia! Tackle. Shellac. Spirally hates. Oh, you want me to try it? Bless so blah blah. Okay. Mmm, smells industrial. Oh, let's get on with it. I'm ready! Mr. Tentacles. So, you want to be an artist, eh, SpongeBob? 
Yes, please. Well, art is not all fun and games. It's a lot of hard work. Okay. First, repeat after me. I have no talent. I have no talent. Mr. Tentacles has all the talent. Mr. Tentacles has all the talent. If I'm lucky, some of Mr. Tentacles' talent may rub off on me. If I'm lucky, Mr. Talent will rub his tentacles on my art. Whatever. Okay, since you're telling me you have no prior training, we'll have to start from square one. Or, or should I say, circle one. <laughs> Am I going too fast for you, SpongeBob? How's it, Squidward? What the? How the? A perfect circle? Do it again. Show your process. Well, first I draw this head, then I erase some of the more detailed features, and one, two, three, a circle uh, thingy. Give me that! Just, uh, forget the circles! Ooh, nice one, Squidward! Let me try. Ah, lucky Squidward! It's you and me playing Leapfrog. That's you on the bottom. Give me that! There is nothing artistic about Leapfrog! What are you doing now? I call it Rippy Bits! You take a bunch of old ripped up paper and you make a new picture out of it. See? You're on top this time. Watch for pedestrians. Check mirrors. Observe that speed limit. Watch for pedestrians! <laughs> So, um, how to do? How do you do? Why don't you ask the shattered remains of this pedestrian? How oh, you did! <clears throat> As you may not be aware, music is a... <laughs> music is a... <laughs> music is a complicated series of... <laughs> is a complicated series of notes that when played in the... SpongeBob, do you mind? There are other people here besides you, you know, and I don't think they appreciate you depriving them of my wisdom. <sighs> I'm sorry, Professor Squilliam. <laughs> Patrick here keeps tickling my foot. <laughs> no way! He's making that up. It was him. You expect me to believe he was tickling himself? You ah. better tell him, SpongeBob. All right, it was me. You were tickling yourself? Mm-hmm. How? Like this. <laughs> All right, that's enough! Uh, what do I do now? <laughs> Remember your landmarks. Sandy's wilderness tips are always on the money. Okay, let's see. I came from... No, I... I came... I'm lost! Ah! Hey, there's one of my landmarks! Good morning, Krusty Crew! Hi, Patrick. What do you have? Uh... Ah! Can you excuse me? The accursed stove has burnt my finger. Feel thine own wrath, stove! <laughs> What did I tell you about using your powers, trainee? Uh, perfect patties are made with love, not magic. Wanna learn how to tie your shoe? It's a very easy thing to do. Just sit on down and I'll give you the scoop. What's that? It's called the loop-de-loop. -loop. You gotta take lace in each hand. You go over and under again You make a loop-de-loop -loop and pull And your shoes are looking cool You go over and back, left to right Loop-de-loop -loop and you pull them tight Like bunny ears or a Christmas bow Lace them up and you're ready to go You make a loop-de-loop -loop and pull And your shoes are looking cool And 
shoes are looking cool. It's all in my book. <laughs> Meant to be eaten, eh? Of course. The Earth provides our food, and we must care for her in return. It's all about balance, my friend. Look at my gun. Wow, it's coming in great. Uh, uh, no. Over there. Even better. So some shaman guy told you people would want to eat my nuts, and you believe it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Surely the shaman isn't a sham. Certainly not. I mean, certainly not. Let's see what we can cook up. Aged nut free, ghost nut chili. How about nutty butter? Seems easy enough to make. <laughs> Woohoo! That's delicious! Now, boy, the time has come to show Mr. Fitz what you learned. Yes, sir! Step one, seatbelt! <laughs> Excellent work, cadet. What's next? Step two would be ignite engine. Step three. Step three would be engage blindfold. What? You can't drive a boat with a blindfold on. That's illegal. But I can't do it without a blindfold. Drive, boy. Drive. <laughs> Mayday! Mayday! You're off course! So serene now that I'm away from that homicidal maniac, SpongeBob. <laughs> the break, son! Bye, aye, sir! Here you go, sir. All I had to do was unscrew two little bolts. All right, SpongeBob, pay close attention. Look your marble. Visualize the sculpture within. Then, gently... How's this, Squidward? It's beautiful. Uh, I mean, uh, this isn't a sculpture. A good sculpture takes more time. You can't just sculpt willy-nilly. You gotta go by the book. Follow the rules, otherwise you'll never get past amateur hour here. Besides, you got the nose wrong. There. Now it's art. Oh, it's so obvious. I would have never thought of that. I'm sorry, Squidward. I came here to learn, and I arrogantly shunned your lessons. I'll never be a great artist like you. I don't deserve your tutoring. I don't deserve to be in your presence. I don't even deserve to use your door. Hello there. But I did deserve that. I deserve that too. A simple trip to Patrick's house. A line so straight and true. Mr. Krabs, let's just leave the boat here and walk. Well, we, you know, we could do that. But you can't learn to drive without a boat. Or can ye? You certainly learn the way of the road with this here top-of-the-line state-of-the-art technological simulator. Now hand me one of them tokens. You need your protective headgear. Ready, drive! I'm doing it, Mr. Krabs! I'm driving the boat! Uh-oh. <laughs> Place. Now, I'm going to put some notes on the chalkboard. Excuse me, is this something you'd like to share with the rest of the class? Uh, 
Go on, you've already interrupted once. You might as well tell us what was so very important. Well, I was just saying that these live juju remind me of a railroad track. I've never heard anything more insipid, insane, uninteresting, or irrelevant. Well, actually, there was a railroad convention in town last week, and I bought myself this nifty conductor's cap. I have never seen a more ridiculous-looking object on top of anybody's head anywhere. I don't know. Suits my needs. What else did you buy at this convention? Your very own locomotive? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the Where were we? SpongeBob, order up! Two salads. Never heard of it. I gotta stay hip. I don't wanna end up like silly old Squidward. But what in the name of Davy Jones's locker is a salad? Here you go, two salads. Ew, gross, those aren't salads. Take those back, remove the bun, the patty, and the condiments. But that leaves just lettuce and tomato. Exactly. All right. Okay, no buns. That's hip, no patties. Happening. Oh yeah, that's definitely the coolest meal I ever saw. This it's is so it's cool. Really nice Two sorry. salads. This is what's known as a metronome. Hey, my mom has one of those in her garden. Oh no, SpongeBob, that was a garden gnome. <clears throat> anyway, the metronome helps us keep time. Do you mind? Is there something seriously wrong with your head? My whole life has been pointed in one direction. Tick, I see that now. Tick, tick, There's never tick, been any tick, choice tick, for me. Would you two nincompoops cut it out? It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Duh. Preparing the Krabby Patty. At the center of every great dynasty is the crown jewel, which keeps it alive and thriving. For the Krusty Krab, this is the Krabby Patty. And now you, the humble employee off the street, the all too necessary human resource that keeps this business afloat, will learn the sacred and dark secrets of how to prepare with your very own hands. <gasps> The sumptuous, lip-moistening, spine-tingling, heart-stopping pleasure center that is a Krabby Patty. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> okay, the secret formula is... 